What's up, YouTube? It's Fitzbro, and we're here taking a look at the early access of Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition's hottest DLC coming to you this month, the Knights of the Mediterranean. We've made another video just like this one, which is going to be covering the Royal Houses, aka the Natives, Miners Hills, whatever you want to call them, here for AoE 3. There's a bunch of new maps and a bunch of new uh, royal houses that are included in this dlc so going through a little bit of um, each one of them one at a time and just kind of exploring the buildings the technologies and their units so let's start here we've got the house of uh we know i've i don't i, I can't pronounce it i've tried i, I know it's not jagilion it's like that's it that's what we're gonna call it for the youtube video house of jagilion there you go uh go ahead and correct me in the comments i know you will Oh, ho, ho. Harrison with the fat raid. Hey, welcome guys. We're just going over the uh, the natives here. So, anyways, let's take a look at these bad boys. So, at the house of of the J people, we've got the Lipka Tatar, uh, which is a quick firing cavalry archer from Lithuania. Lithuan Lithuania. This is just a big tongue twister for me. You know, for any of you guys that like to get triggered that my pronunciations are off. Um, I did go to music school, so that's about the uh, uh, my expertise as far as these things are considered. Okay, so uh, here he is. So, uh, quick firing cav archer from Lithuania. It has 7.25 speed and 30 uh, percent. It looks like melee resist. Is that melee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you have to go over this time. Oh, yeah, handed resist. Um, looks like it has eight siege damage, six range, and three rate of fire. Now, these are the base unit. I haven't uh, upgraded this bad boy yet. Then over here, we've got a Shock Rider. And the Shock Rider, I'm assuming, is... A, let's see, what age is this bad boy available in? I'm going to assume it's available in the second age, since it doesn't seem to be... It doesn't always tell you once you're in the later ages. I think this is available in the second age. Um, but this one, a Shock Rider, is right here. 110 food and 90 wood. Uh, build limit, 5 out of 16. The other one is 5 out of 28. That's a good good thing to know. Uh, fast Serbo Croatian Lancer with dual armor and a powerful Lance Charge attack. So he has a charge attack. Benefits from promotion. So we've seen this promotion ability in this DLC. Your units, if they get a kill, they get uh, additional stats. A little Chevron up here, right here. So, uh, you can get up to three promotions, and you can read that here. Also, look, he has a charged lance, I guess, looks like. Thrust a lance from a distance into a group of enemies to inflict uh, directional area damage. So I'm assuming it goes, like, through a line, I guess. Is there a way we could demonstrate that? Eh, it'd be kind of hard. Yeah, let's, let's try it. Here we go. We're, we're charging in. Let's see if we can get a directional attack on these uh, these unsuspecting villagers. He has uh, very low HP, considering that it's more expensive than a Hussar. Oh, by the way, yeah, unit count. I'm sorry. Yes, I took uh, multiple of the same uh, tra of the same house. That's why. Makes sense. Okay, here we go. Let's get him. Give me that sweet charge attack. Oh, there we go. Okay, so use the charge attack. Did you guys see that? Did some decent damage there. Okay, so there it is. That charge attack. Um, yeah, it seems like a... That's some nice damage, but as always with all these units, it's going to just take time to test them against a different matchup, see how they, they actually stand up. We've got cheat code on right now. That's how we can see his veils. Okay, so those are the two units you have available here. Looks like this is currently wigging out. You guys see the lighting on that? Going like flashing, flashing. Disco party. Okay, let's take a look at these technologies. Pancerny? Pancerny. Pan. Pam. Pan. Increased hand... Cavalry ranged armor, 300 food and 300 wood. Okay, so it gives you additional ranged armor for all your hand calf. Not too expensive, ain't bad. Give adds point one. Next one. Units and resources you have already received from age ups are granted again. What takes later to research in the la later ages? Let's see. How about right now? That's 200 wood. Oh, yeah, so we're in age five right now. Okay, that is quite slow. Wow, look at that. Look at that thing. That is slow. How many seconds do you think that takes? Does it tell me? No. Okay. But still, 
that's pretty uh pretty cool ability there so you get those crates and units again i mean so it hap it, it'll it'll hmm so the earlier ages will happen faster right so i'm really curious maybe we could test it at the end of this like if you use this in the second age for 200 wood i mean if you age up with villagers you just get more re more villagers right so uh yeah that would be pretty sweet i think Okay. Uh, Sarmatism ships five Lipka Tatars. Tar tatars? Tatars? Units armed with a bow gain more range. Oh. <laughs> what do you guys think I'm going to use this for? It is very expensive, though. 350 food and 350 wood, at least for the early game. I guess it gives you units, too, so it makes sense. Okay, so... It gives units with a bow more range. So this will be great for those bow riders, huh? 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 Some additional range. Yeah. That sounds good to me. Nice. Nice. Okay. Full works. Grants resources for each present and future farming building. It's kind of a weird one. 50 wood. So if I build one mill over here, uh, 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 put it back. Build this hat, Bill. Ah. Okay, let's check this out. Now we'll get 40 something. What is that? 40 food. Interesting. It's cheap. Maybe it could be useful later on. Each present and future farming building. Get extra range from the tech? Let's check it out. Does the uh, Lipta get extra range? I would assume so. Okay, so right now, let's see. Sitting at uh, 12 range. If we get our Sarmatism. We had 12 range before. Yeah, now it's 14 range. Ain't too shabby. Okay, so that's that upgrade. Now, keep that in mind if we look at other bow-related units that they're, they're buffed now. Um, and then last but not least, over here, we've got our balance of powers. Now, I think, can you click on it over here? Yeah, you can. So, they added this. We've seen some of these, like, cooldown abilities uh, for some of the civilizations and some abilities uh, in, the, in the game in DE. Um, but now a lot of these uh, these natives have these cooldown abilities. So this one specifically equalizes your resource stockpile. Wait, what? Equalizes your resource stockpile. Uh, I'm not sure if that just like resets the market rate. Uh... Or does, does it really just equalize, spread out all your resources in your inventory? It looks like maybe it did. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, at the very least, I would say at surface level, this could use some, uh, uh maybe some more tooltip. Because I don't think that is, um, equalizes your, re maybe exactly what's going to happen would be nice. But, uh. It evenly divides your resources between all three. That is kind of crazy. Equalizes to the th to the lowest or highest variable. So if you stack wood, yeah, this is an ability that it has a cooldown. Wow. Uh, yeah, with Lakota, imagine you just get like all this food and then use that. What? This seems crazy. Like this one and this for Lakota. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. We're gonna get this this bow upgrade. We're gonna we're gonna get additional uh, shipment of. <laughs> what if we go? Oh my gosh! Wait a second. We are. Does it give us bison too? Resources you've already in units you've already received will it give me additional bison. If I use it as Lakota. We huh? I wonder. Okay. Bison R units. Okay, anyways, that's the House of Jagilion, or whatever it is. 
Um, let's head on over to the next one. The House of Fanar. We've got our our Boyar. Now, this isn't available until the Third Age. The uh, veteran Boyar. If you look at the stats of this bad boy. Heavy hand cavalry from Wallachia with good siege attack. So some good siege attack. Look at that. 39 siege. Phase 3 unit. And then you have the Evzone. Um, and this guy is a Greek skirmisher with high hit points that is particularly strong against heavy infantry. So skirmisher is going to be good against heavy infantry. Just basically a skirmisher. You know, you see the stats there. Take a look at those stats if you're a, a stat person. 11 range damage, 16 range, 3 rate of fire, times 3 bonus <clears throat> against heavy infantry, times 2 versus light range cavalry. And over here we got a veteran boyar. Now this is age 3 unit, 39 siege damage, 6 range. Wait, what? Wait, that's it. The siege attack is 6 range. I was like, what? <laughs> 24 hand attack, uh, 1 rate of fire. Okay, let's take a look at these techs here. So there they are. 110 food, 30 wood, 130 food, 90 gold. So this is an expensive boy. It's like a, yeah, definitely a heavy cavalry unit. Um, and then over here, we've got uh, our technologies. Uh, Armatolo, Toloi, to Armatoloi. Uh, all ranged infantry inflict slightly more damage, particularly Eve zones. They give plus five range infantry damage. That's a nice upgrade. Not too expensive. 200 wood, 200 gold. All actions damage 10% for uh, the Ev zone. Athos monasteries, 340 wood. Ships to Athos monasteries, wagons which can be placed on a moin. Mine. That was what you say, mine and coin at the same time. Moin. Mine for coin generation and research unique uh, technology. So we're going to check that out in just a moment. Byzantine Legacy. Buildings and ships have more hit points. Doesn't cost that much. This will be, I guess, really nice for those water maps. Maybe a little bit. Some more building and ship HP, I would bet, particularly. Greek Shipyards. Okay, so definitely good for water maps. Docks work much faster and construct an additional battleship. That's that big boy. That battleship. Uh, plus 40% work rate. So, on this map, uh, you know, maybe you can pick this up for the infantry upgrades, but obviously you're not going to get these water upgrades. And then it has a cooldown or ability. Let's see what this is. Spawns more sacred band infantry. The longer you wait and improves villagers in combat for a short period of time. Let's see what that means. Just in case you need to improve your villager combat. There they are. They typically have uh, 150 HP, 3 damage, 12 range. And if I get that... Oh, I thought that would do it. Oh, it doesn't activate it. It's kind of weird, because this one, if you click it, it activates. Evening out my resources, but of this, kind of interesting. Um, anyways, let's activate it. Look at these bad boys. Okay, and it did give them more HP and some more damage, so... Uh, maybe if you're being raided, this is a good little, uh, a good little, uh, thing to, to save your units. I wonder how long it lasts for. I don't see any countdown. Oh, actually, no, it's right here. It's, oh man, that lasts for a long time. Oh my gosh. If the French use this, I haven't even gotten 21 attack. We haven't, we don't even have a market upgrade right now or like, or any cards. Oh my gosh. The villager revolution could be legit guys. Oh my gosh. This ability is busted. Oh my gosh. The French are going to love this. Okay, 21 attack. Let's add this. Look at these guys. Absolute units. 278 HP. 278. It has more than the infantry. Oh my gosh. 24 attack. Uh, 16 range. 3 rate of fire. Artillery, watch out. Um, yeah, we're going to get the infantry. Hold on just a second. This is crazy. I'm thinking about the potential with some of the like villager upgrades. This could legit. I mean, it is called a Greek revolution, but, uh, this is a very, very long time. <laughs> now I wonder we're in age five. Is there any chance this is lasting longer because we're in age five? I don't, I I don't know. Is it available early on? 
Mmm. I have to figure it out. Okay, let's take a look. Man, you guys are so impatient. I'm gonna show you these guys. Is this who you wanna see? You sure you wanna see this? Let me see. We're checking out the villagers first. What's up, Patrick? Okay, let's take a look. So, it also spawned these bad boys. The Sacred Band Infantry. Greek Musketeer that is stronger in groups. Kind of like a Tashonke. Good against cavalry. So, I guess we gotta look at the base stat of these guys. So, he's in a group of like four, I guess. If we walk away. Come on, I thought a stat was good. Stats are going down. Oh, I think the plus 83 is because we've got an upgrade. Okay, so there's the I guess the base stats of this unit. 25 uh 25 range damage, 14 range to 18 HP. Let's bring one of these guys closer. Let's we'll see how this changes. He's coming over. There he comes. I have to watch closely. So it looks like he got more HP. Is that is that the only thing that changed? I think it is when they change. So you just get more HP. Um, I wonder if there's a what the limit is. It says build limit of of 15. So this is a cooldown. It doesn't tell you how many seconds it takes. We'd have to time it out, but it takes a while. But maybe you could use this late game and really get a, a big. Like I feel like it's probably in your interest to. Uh, or wait, no, wait. Where did we get that? It was it. Yeah, the Greek Revolution. Yeah, I think maybe late game would be really good. One HP per man. Nothing like that. Okay, did we go all through all these techs? Let's see. Uh, oh, no, we did not. Uh, all range infantry, more damage. So the monastery, okay. Building ships. Yeah, we did do all these. Okay, so let's look at the Athos uh, monasteries. So that this is going to cost us 340 wood. <laughs> Never mind the Gatling camels. <laughs> okay, so we've seen these with uh, with Africa, right? With uh, Ethiopia. So you put these bad boys here on the uh, gold mines. Okay, so they're going to. Now I can have gatherers. Like, so do I? Does this count as the gatherers for it? Because I guess. Oh, that does count as the gatherers. Interesting. Okay. And it's doing it quite quickly right now because we have speed turned on. Is that doing it faster than usual? Oh, there. Okay, those. I say those. Uh, those were way too. <laughs> that was way sped up before. Um, check out the text here. Grants a small trickle of experience while no damage has been inflicted to your units in the last thirty seconds. Two point five XP trickle while you're not under attack. That's pretty cool. Ships one. F zone for each two buildings you have on the map delivers up to seven. Let's do that. And upon being knocked out, your hero units spawn F zones. Wait, how many are we talking about? It has one thousand. It costs one thousand gold. Oh, we gotta check this out. Let's go die. Come on, he's gonna fly. Pew, 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 pew. Look at him go. Look at him go. Knock them out. Let's see what we get. This should be fun. He has his golden armor. Here we go. Let's see what we got. That's it? What? You get two? Uh, For 1,000 gold? Question mark? Uh, Maybe it's because we already had a few? Uh, I don't know. Seems uh two for free every time you die for a thousand gold. Seems a little overpriced to me. Three explorers spamming. Two explorers plus dog equals three heroes. I don't know who's gonna have all those cards. Yeah, maybe civs that have a lot of, like, yeah, maybe like Hausa, you get two explorers or something. Could be better for them. But overall, a thousand gold is a, a large investment, uh, in my opinion. Grants a small trickle experience whilst no damage. Okay. Um, okay. And then we can also build a priest. Let's see if they can gather here. I'm kind of curious. 
Obviously, your priest will do some healing. Yeah, I kind of thought so. So the priests, they can't actually work on this monastery. So the monastery will... I guess what, on its own, it doesn't do a whole lot. It, other than give you the... Oh, it gives you the upgrades, right? It says it's gathering coin. I guess it is. Plus 36, so... Now, how did that just go up more? Wait, how is this rate changing? What the... No one's even mining gold right now. There we go. It's going down now. Uh, it, so it is trickling gold, despite it doesn't actually show it here. It gathers 0.6 coin. Yeah. I, I just kind of expected it to be here in this tooltip. Oh, is this mine depleted? That's why. Ah, I gotcha. Thank you very much. Okay. So there you go. In a nutshell, that is the Jeglion and the uh, the House of Fenar. A lot of interesting things. Honestly, the House of Fenar, uh, you've got this like equaling of resources. This ability seems really cool to me. The bow range seems cool to me. Uh, and then you've got over here, like this Villager Revolution seems like it could be a meme strat you want to do, and that might not be so much of a meme. It might like actually be crazy legit or save your units, your villagers from raids. Got some pretty nice uh, units here. Um, and then the monastery you can ship for additional gold. So yeah, pretty cool. So those are two of the new uh, royal houses that will be included here in the Knights of the Mediterranean DLC coming out later this month. And if you want to see some of the others, I'm going to have videos for uh, each two of these uh, on my YouTube channel until I, I am finished with all of them. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you're thinking. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that sub button. And I'll see you in the next one.